Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to perform lookups in Google Sheets. And I'm going to show you three examples. Uh, VLOOKUP, INDEX AND MATCH, and also with the filter function, although technically not really a lookup function, you can use it to do lookup capabilities. So let's start with VLOOKUP. So let's say, for example, I wanted to find out what the population in Austria is. For VLOOKUP, they're basically just a couple arguments. So I'm going to type equal v lookup. I'll just click this to start it off. And we see it only takes three required arguments. The search key, what you're looking for, the range of data, and the index. And basically that is the column number. So here we have a three column table, column one, column two, column three. So the search criteria, let's say, for example, we just decide to hard code it in here. And I'll look, I have put it in quotes and I'll look up Austria close quotes, my range, I'll select my range here, A to C, control shift down arrow, select that range, comma, and then the index. Uh, I want column two, so that's column two. Is it sorted? So when it says it's sorted, you're looking for false or true, or true or false. And if you wanted to look what it means, you can click learn more, and here it's gonna tell us the two out values that we can use are either true or false. It's sorted here. So it's sorted, it's true by default, and it's looking for a approximate match, but we will want to look for an exact match. If we were looking for numbers, for example, tax rate tables, we might look for an approximate match and then we have to sort the table first. But in this case, we're looking for an exact match. So we're gonna put here, false. Close parentheses, press enter, and we have 852, close this. And we scroll back up to the top here. And we can see we have the formula here. I just basically put a formula text function here so we can look at the formula in this cell. Now, if we didn't want to hard code that in, let's delete that. We're gonna base it off of cell E2 here. We can enter anything now. So if I want to look up Angola, and I actually don't need to have this in the uppercase, lowercase. It's case insensitive here. So you can see that if I type Angola, press enter, it's going to find Angola here for me. So that's VLOOKUP. Now one of the things about VLOOKUP is you can't look up to the left. So if I tried to change this, if I want to look for the ISO number, the three uh, character ISO number for the country and look up values to the left of it, you can't do that with VLOOKUP. You can see here that it's going to look up for the column. So if I select A to C, a, B, C, it's always going to look for the second one. If I change this to, if I looked at the country code for Angola, which is AGO, it's going to give me an error, right? Because it's trying to look from the first column here and go one, two, three. That's where the index match comes into play. So the index match, it lets us do that. So the way the index match combination works, it's two functions. Match works here like this. If I type match and I want to look for, I'll just use that. If I want to look for this range here, let's select from here all the way down. I'll select from this, control shift down arrow all the way down. Actually, I don't really need to do that. I can just type in C and it will look for the whole range at the bottom, right? So you necessarily don't have to select um, from a specific number row. You can actually just put in that column header um, the starting one, you have to start at the number row, which is uh, C7, but you can leave that number blank and it's going to look all the way down to the bottom. Here, comma, I can look for the search type and it's the same as VLOOKUP. The type of search we want is an exact match. So, but it's a little bit different here where it gives you an exact zero, one, and negative one. And you can see here with one, it's looking at a sort order that's in the sending order and it's going to return the largest value. Minus one is going to look at the sort order in a descending order and return the smallest value. What we want here, because we're looking for the country, we're, we're looking for an exact match. So we're going to type zero. So if I, if I type zero here, zero, close parentheses, what it's going to do, it's going to bring me back the row number for that. So if I type, let's close this, if I go up here, and let's make it easy. We want the first row, Afghanistan. So I'm gonna type in Afghanistan or AFG for the country code. 
it's going to bring me uh, number two. Actually, number two because I selected C7 to C0. So C7 is the first row. Uh, this is the second row. So how do we use that with the index function? I'm going to go down here and show you. So I type in index, click that, and I'll select my reference. And I can select the, I want the, value, I want the values of the population here. So I'm just going to select this and colon, I'll just do B because we can just select that. It's gonna, if we don't type the number in, of course, it's gonna select the whole range where there's values there. Now it's gonna bring back the row and the column. So if I wanted the first row, I just type one. And the column, since I only have one column selected, I don't need to enter anything there because the square brackets indicates those are um, optional. So close parentheses, press enter. It brings back 2014, that's the first one. If I type in the number two, press enter, it's gonna bring back 3128. So with that in mind, look at where this match brings back. It brings back number two, the second row and that, that value. So all I need to do is wrap that match function in here. So I can do index here, open parentheses, the reference, close this. The reference was cell B2 or B7, colon B comma, delete that space there. So that match is gonna bring back the number two. And index takes the argument, the range, the optional row number and the optional column number. I don't have a column number since I'm, my index is only one column. So I'll just close the parentheses, press enter, and we have 3128. You can see that it matches here. So if I select it, maybe another country, maybe Austria, AUT, AUT, this can be lowercase, it'll bring back 852 there. So it lets you look to the left, which VLOOKUP wouldn't let you do. So let's VLOOKUP and index slash match. Now, filter is another function that you can use to kind of perform lookups, even though when you think about filtering, you're, you're just filtering for data. Um, but you can use it to perform lookups. And the way it works is all you need to do is type filter, select that, and it takes a couple arguments, two required arguments, the range and then the condition, or you can have multiple conditions. Now, with this in mind, all you need to do is select the range here. Let's select my range. I'll select from A to, to C, and then I can do the trick here where I don't need to have that last number there, and it selected the all the range of rows, or the range of rows where there's values here for this table. Now, my second argument is going to be the condition, right? So the condition is if um, it equals, if this particular column, let's say that this range of data, I'll select here from C colon two to C, and it's gonna select that whole range. If that equals, I don't know, we'll try it again. Um, we'll try Austria again, AUT, but you have to put this into quotes, close parentheses, press enter, and what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring back that whole range of data there. Press enter, you can see it brought back 2014 and ISO, right? So, and this is the formula text here that I've used earlier. The nice thing about filter is the ability to also filter um, a little bit more with logical parameters. So what does that mean? Let's say, for example, I wanna look at all the countries that are above a million, right? So all I need to do, let's delete this. I'll look at column B and colon to B, and I wanna see that that is greater than a million. So that's gonna be, this is this is in the millions here, so it's 21 million. So let's oh, look at for countries that are over a billion, so that'd be 1,000. Close parentheses, press enter, and of course you have China, India, and, and unfortunately this data set didn't have any numbers for 2014 for the population. Now what we can do here with filter, let me add another sheet here, is I can reference it. I don't wanna, let's say for example, I wanna hide this sheet, and then I just wanna use filter to bring back uh, information here. So I can do the same thing I did earlier. I just copy the, I'll copy this, control C to copy, go into this sheet here, control V to paste, and here, and I'll put a formula, text formula, so you can see what it looks like. Press enter, so it's NA right there, but there's no formula here, and I can type in equals, filter, select that, and my range of data, let's go here to this one to A2 to C again, right? So we do A2, let's see if I can get this one. Select the cell, let's 
go back and select that cell. So I want to select A2. Let's see, that's A2. Great. Now, colon, C, and then let me go back into the sheet. And let's do the same thing as we had in this formula. Now, what are we looking for? We're looking for the same thing here. We're B2, but we have to look for it in this sheet. So I'm going to select here. B2 is greater than 1,000. Close parentheses, press enter. And let's see if it picked it up here. And it didn't because I forgot to close or extend that range. That's supposed to be colon B. Press enter. And now it should have picked it up. And here we can make it a little more inter interactive. I'm going to select, maybe I will enter in some additional rows here. Select one to five. Right click, insert five rows above. Uh, let's delete that color. Let me just use the formatting and just delete that. And let's make this a drop down. So I can create a drop down here. Go to data, go to data validation. Uh, I'm going to put it in there. Where's my criteria? Let's say it's coming from, I want to look at the ISO um, numbers here, or the ISO characters for the country code. Click on, oh, let's click here. Select that. That's my range. Let's see. Let's see if it lets me select it. Okay. C2 to colon C. Click OK. It's going to select that whole thing there. And uh, let's see, show drop down, reject input. Let's have help text. Clicked and enter a value. Yeah, that's fine. Click save. Go back to the sheet here. And you see I have my drop down, right? So I have my country codes. And I'll change this filter now. And my filter is going to be column C. So I just change that to C, C, and let's say that equals to C equals to my value here in cell B2, press enter. It's nothing here right now, but if I select the country code, let's go back to Austria. I seem to like Austria a lot. Uh, I think it was AUT. It brings back Austria with the population 2014 and of course the ISO code there. So that's a way to make it a little bit more interactive. If I wanted to hide this, I can just right click, hide sheet. And if I want to send this off to someone, have them do some filtering or or look up, I'll put that in quotes. You can uh, have them do that with this particular setup here. And basically you can say, oh, you can look up the country you want here, country code, and it'll bring back these values. So that's three ways that we can perform lookups. First with the VLOOKUP and index and match combination. And of course with the filtering. And even though it's not really named as a lookup function, but you can use the filter function as a lookup capability. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.